Hello! In this portion of our Route 66 trip, you'll see a whole bunch more things um, that we saw on Route 66, and I'll drop links to um, all of them in the description below. Um, but to start with, our first stop was the Midpoint Cafe, which um, is called that because it's when what is considered the, the midway point of Route 66. Um, it's your typical diner. It's got typical diner food, but it was really good. Um, and then the, the little gift shop had all kinds of Route 66 souvenirs and stuff. So here we go. So if you didn't know, much of the theming in the Cars movie, as well as Cars Land in Disneyland, were based on stops along Route 66, including Flo's V8 Cafe, which is loosely based on the Midpoint Cafe here. Um, we did have a quick lunch here, but I failed to record any of the food as it was very busy and noisy in the cafe. It was typical diner food and burgers, but all of it was very good. If you like a good diner burger, it's a good place to stop and have a bite to eat. So our next stop was one of the more popular stops, it's Cadillac Ranch, which as you can see is a bunch of old Cadillacs that have been placed in the ground. Um, you can purchase spray paint or other merch on the site and spray paint any of the Cadillacs that are there. Um, you can bring your own spray paint too if you plan that far in advance. We did not as we had so many other places we wanted to see so we looked around for a bit and then we continued on our way. So our next stop was Bug Ranch, which is obviously done in the same fashion as Cadillac Ranch, which I believe com came first. Um, I had to make this stop though, as I own a beetle that is currently in storage while we travel. This location at the time of this recording did not have merch or spray paint available, but you can always save your paint from Cadillac Ranch paint here if you make both stops. Next, we're going to show some um, one of the neat murals that we see along the route. There's there's several that you can see, um, and we're also just kind of um, going to show how much greener the foliage is the further east you go. It's kind of neat to me to see how quickly the climate changes in just a few hours of driving. Um, and then next, we stopped in El Reno, Oklahoma, to see this giant Route 66 sign. Our next stop, which is in Arcadia, Oklahoma, was Pop 66, which is a large store filled with any kind of craft or regular soda you can think of. It has a giant neon pop bottle outside that lights up at night. Unfortunately, we weren't able to stick around to see that, but we did grab a few drinks before we left. So in Catoosa, Oklahoma, we stopped to see this waterfront structure called the Blue Whale of Catoosa.
On the same property as a blue whale, they had a really cool ship slash playhouse type structure. Kind of makes me wish I was a kid again. So next we stopped at Totem Pole Park, which according to this website I found, Totem Pole Park contains the original decorated creations of Ed Galloway, um, who is one of Oklahoma's premier folk artists. So our next stop was one of my favorites. Um, it's the Welcome Center in Missouri, which, you know, at first might not sound like much, but um, all the pavilions that cover the picnic tables that are behind the building that houses the restrooms are made to look like businesses that are similar to or actually existed along Route 66. From there, we headed to Uranus, Missouri, which is a cute little stop that's made to look almost like a circus. They have some fun adult phrases they like to use in the various shops. Um, we tried the fudge and it's definitely worth the stop.
So that's it for this video. Um, we have a few more things that we want to show, but I'm going to put that in a separate video. Anyway, we hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.